Now let's talk about a useful function that can be used when your data is complex and it has several types of data within your sheet. The function we're talking about is the function called sum if or the conditional sum. Sometimes you just don't need to take the sum for those values and put it in here. Sometimes you need to take the sum for certain values that have a certain status and exclude the other numbers which have a different status. In this case, we have the status as good and bad. Some values are being good, some values are being bad. Whatever that means, either how many engines you have, good, how many engines are bad, or maybe you are just making a sorting for vegetables or stores, or even you are in the marketplace and doing a market analysis and trying to see how many are good, how many are bad. So you want the sum for the good and the sum for the bad in a separate way. And this data could be 30,000 data sets or could be 1 million data sets all applied with the same equation that is called conditional sum. Okay, let's start with the conditional sum or as it's called as sum if. So equal sign, start with sum and write if. So sum if, open parenthesis, he say, which range you wanna inspect or have a conditional sum for? In this case, you are talking about the status. So you put the range of status in this case. The status is over here, comma. Now, what is the criteria? The criteria I would say between quotations, between quotations, let's continue here. So I need whenever that data range is having good to give it a sum, comma. He's telling you what is the sum range. Now we're talking about the values. In the first, we're talking about criteria and range. Which range you wanna use and what criteria in that range you wanna follow. Now he say, what is the actual number or what is the actual data set that you want to use to do the sum i'm using this data set i'm telling him basically with sum if g3 to g6 comma between quotations good for h3 to h6 means for that kind of criteria of good and bad for that range whenever you see a criteria to be good then add that value and do the sum for whatever number next to the word good. That's what we're saying here. So he will go, okay, first line, he's saying good, that's number one. Second one is good, number two. So one plus two is three. Number three is good. Three plus three equals six. Number four is bad, so I will exclude it. So I should see a sum of the value six over here after I hit enter. Yep, that's what happened. Now, what if we change this from good to bad? Now, he's telling you the sum is number four because he only did the sum for value of one plus the value of three, those two are good. In this case, we're telling him whenever you see good, just add the value next to that word good and put it as a total. That's, that's what it is. In this case, he's not inspecting for bad. What if we want to inspect for bad? Let's say sum if the range for defining the criteria is over here, comma. Now, wherever he find the word bad, I need him to do the addition or the sum for those values next to the word bad and the range of numbers is from here all the way down to here close parentheses hit enter you can see here six so we have bad here with number four and bad with number two four plus two is six as i said you can go with thousands of data sets and still get that right of course sometimes you don't need to search for a certain text in this case we search for a text criteria of having good you can sometimes uh, have a certain criteria of value or whatever you want. So uh, there is a limitless solutions and variations for this formula, but I try to make it as simple as possible so that you guys can uh, get it and get the idea behind it as easy as possible and you have it ready in your toolbox and you can pull it up whenever you need it when you face uh, a problem that 
can be used or can be solved using that kind of equation.